Local 3 Sports with Jake Duran. Some people call it grit, determination, or sisu if you're Finnish. Whatever you want to call it, one young woman from Gwyn has it, and tonight we share her story of perseverance. Gwyn's Lena Plo will go down as one of the best to ever suit up for the model towners. But her career almost ended before it really ever got a chance to begin. Lena, her sophomore year, we had to uh, pull the plug on her season pretty early. Uh, she fell a couple times during the season and couldn't feel her legs. Um, she went to Marquette, got diagnosed with a nerve injury in her spine, um, and they told her her basketball career was over. But Plo wouldn't take no for an answer. Luckily, her parents and her went to Mayo and they got a second diagnosis. Um, she had to work uh, really hard, um, extensively a PT, um, and she didn't get cleared till right before her uh, junior year volleyball season. Coming off her injury, Plo returned even stronger than she was before. During her junior season, she averaged 16.8 points and 5.5 and rebounds per game. She was named to the Westpac All-Conference First Team and the Mid-Penn All-Conference First Team. She received the Gil Hurd Courageous Athlete Award presented annually by the UPSSA to an athlete who demonstrates perseverance in overcoming a handicap to participate in athletics. Basketball is home to her. Um, it's her sanctuary, you know, being in the gym. So, you know, Taking basketball away is not an option. Simply, I just don't like to lose. Um, my parents were that way. Everything I've done in life has been a competition. You know, I feel like I step out on the court and I always put myself out there as no one out here is better than I am. Plo would continue to thrive as a leader both on and off the court. She finished her senior season averaging 17.7 points six and a half rebounds and three assists per game. Most importantly, the model towners took a step forward as a program. Just two years removed from a one in 19 season, the improvement was a refreshing sign that the program is moving in the right direction under the guidance of second year head coach, Justin Mackey. Very, very proud that they bought in, um, that uh, they believed in themselves, most importantly. And that's, you know, we didn't get as many wins that we wanted to, but the results were a lot better from the year before. And I thought it was a tremendous, uh, um, improvement from my first year to my second and um, yeah I'm very proud of how the season transpired even though we went 5 and 16. It was a good season we had a good group of girls I think our chemistry was good with us and that made a big difference you know it was our first year of high school having a coach two years in a row so to have one two years in a row that took the time out of his day to spend the summer with us to spend time putting in the work with us was super nice we had I mean if he wasn't there we didn't have something he was there every single day if he expected us to be there he was going to be there with us. Plo's career came to an end in the first round of districts against Ishpeming. Plo says she was hit with a rush of emotions leaving the court she worked so hard to get back to for the final time. Yeah, it was extremely emotional. Um, obviously a really sad moment because you're never going to step foot on your high school gym again and that's where I pretty much learned how to play basketball and learned like this gym offered me so much it made me into the person I am. I was in here from any time between 5 in the morning playing basketball to, you know, midnight when we had an open gym here from midnight to 2 in the morning. Like there was never a time where I wasn't in here if I couldn't get in here. Through her hard work and perseverance, Plo not only earned the respect of her teammates, but also of her opposition. Uh, you know, Lena Plo for Gwyn is one of the classiest players I've had to compete against for four years. And uh, every uh, student athlete should uh, mo try to model to be that kind of kid. It was awesome. That's really the goal. You know, you want to be a respectable player. You want to be someone who other coaches enjoy watching play. That was super nice of him to do that, and it's something I'll always remember. Plo's next chapter will take her to Lake Superior State, where she recently signed to play basketball. I actually just decided that I was going to go there this past Monday. Um, we went down there and met the coach. Put through, put me, he put me through a workout. I loved the coaching staff. I loved talking with all of them. I loved the facilities they had there, like their nursing program, which is what I'll be going into after high school, was awesome. It was one of the best programs I've ever seen looking through colleges. And uh, I just get to continue playing basketball, which is really what I wanted. And she will take an important lesson she learned from Coach Mackey with her. The biggest thing he pushed out to us was never get too high, never get too low. You know, not only is basketball a game of ups and downs, but life's a game of ups and downs. When you're on the high, you can't get too high up there. And when you're on the low, you can't get too low down there. Just keep riding the wave.
I was very lucky to have her my first two years. So when I, uh, you know, I raised the bar, uh, raised expectations and standards, um, she, uh, Lino, was 100% bought in. And I think the younger classmen and the juniors that are about to be seniors uh, saw that and they learned a lot from that. So moving forward, I think, I think Lena is going to be a positive impact on this program uh, years beyond her being here. You know, being a successful program, rebuilding it, but then sustaining it, right? So um, yeah, her, her presence was definitely going to be felt and it's going to be felt for a long time.